Hey folks and welcome back to RimWorld. I'm your host Pew Pew Choo Choo, and well, we are uh, well. I played through a little bit more of the the, the colony here, um, just in my in my own time. Seeing as hell, I tried to record this once, and the uh, well, the the game froze and my recording program crashed, so that's rather unfortunate. But anyhow, we made a few um, improvements on the fort, and uh, well, currently we're in the process of building up the uh, the forward area. Um, over here by a little bit so um, anyhow we're doing a lot of mining where uh, we have a prison set up and we also have some more farms because uh, we gained uh, two new members of the fort so welcome to Mc welcome uh, McNeil and Fisher to the fort one is a um, some sort of noble person and the other person is a um, I think it's like a it's like a um, entrepreneur or something like that. So anyhow, we're just going to get a few turrets set up here, and what I'm going to be doing shortly is that I want to build this place up, so then, uh, so that it is like a little turret array, a little uh, defensive base of sorts, and uh, that's really where we are uh, continuing from. So I'll get these turrets set up with some sandbags, and this is really just going to be like a little stone point that we have here. And those should be set up like that. We'll have a power line coming down through here. It's going to connect all of those turrets. That's This thing is going to connect all of these turrets. And then for redundancy, we're going to have a, a connection going like this. And a connection going like this. And that'll hook up all the guns to, uh, to each other. And this will be a miniature strong point that should be able to defend itself. Because I'm noticing that a lot of the raider attacks, they either come from over here, and they also come from over here, and um, being able to control more of the map is definitely going to be uh, more and more useful as time continues, and that's what really what I'm uh, trying to do here. So speaking of that, we also do want to set up um, a few turret arrays back here. So I'm going to build two of those. You'll notice that currently, I mean, we are absolutely broke, but we have a ton of metal and a ton of food, and that's because I've kind of spent it all on trading for metal to build these defensive positions, and that's really uh, all there is to it. Oh, that's right, you actually have to link up the batteries to the, uh, the things, so we'll, de so we'll disconnect those. Or no, no, we don't actually have to. I was wondering about this. Uh, that's why this cable isn't built yet, so we'll just wait until that is built and then um, we'll set that up. Yeah, so right now I'm just trying to make um, like this whole network of uh, defensive uh, places for our guys to, to use. And hopefully with all of this uh, redundancy and stuff going uh, back and forth, we should be able to uh, keep these turrets working for a very, very long time. Yeah, because I'm noticing that the raiders are getting quite difficult to, uh, to fend off. And with that kind of said, I really want to uh, make sure that we don't lose uh, anything that's majorly important to raider attacks. Yeah, another raider wave has landed. So they've, uh, yeah, they've landed over here actually, and they are uh, quite numerous in number, and they have a ton of different weapons, ranging from uh, infields to some other stuff like that. Speaking of which, we can actually make a mine field now. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to uh, make like a small strip of mines over here. Hopefully, this will be built before they uh, they launch their little attack. And then, assuming that the raiders do walk through here, we'll be able to blow up these uh, mines and um, take out a few of their guys in the process. These mines, I've, I've been playing around with them, they're technically blasting charges and you're technically supposed to use them for for mining simply because mining is really rather slow, but you can also use them as um, as these things, right, as, uh, as mines, um, but you do have to be careful about like when you uh, when you blow them up. So our guys here are going to get their uh, little construction detail uh, set up. That'll be that. I'm gonna put down a few more just in case. 
And we can get our guys to prioritize building them. So I'm going to get McKinney here to absolutely mine the heck out of this area. These mines are actually fairly cheap. I mean, they're only 20 metal. So currently, I mean, we can build a ton of them. And that should secure that. Oh, they're going to be staging their thing. So they're going to launch their attack. Get everybody assembled and ready for combat. And we're going to try to uh, time this right so then we can blow up hopefully the vast majority of these guys in one fell swoop. So they'll walk forward here. I'll pause it right here. Designate this one. Second mine. Third mine. And that worked pretty well, I've got to say. That really uh, thickened or shortened up the pile. And these guys are starting to get armed with uh, only like rifles and shotguns now. So I've got to say that worked pretty well. Now, um, so that area, yeah, this area is pretty much fine now. The turrets should be able to handle like a large majority, the large majority of these guys, provided that they, they do fire. Hmm, these turrets fired one shot and now they're out of power. Are our batteries back at base alright? No, that's why. Yeah, the one thing that I wanted to, uh, to do was to get these guns to... Uh, I, w I want to build a battery uh, farm out here. So I really wanted to uh, do something with the electrical part of the game, right? And one of the things that we do need to do before that is uh, really protect the outside of our base here. Oh, and we can capture a prisoner now, so we will. So yeah, uh, this guy needs to be rebuilt, so we'll set that back up. And right now, it's it would be a good time to turn off the defensive measures, simply because we're still running on the old power network, and there aren't uh, too many things keeping that running. So these turrets, we, we, we only have to turn them on for a small amount of time, simply because we can't really... Uh, can't really keep them on for that long. That's one of the things that I aim to uh, change in the future. Get this area set up. Solar generation is going to be a big problem in the in the few turns to come. So we're going to build a few more uh, power generators like that. And let's see, power conduit. Bring that up again. Got to have those uh, redundancy measures just in case. And I'll, that'll get all of that set up. In the meantime, we need to do some more mining. So uh, we're actually going to use those mining charges for their purpose in a little bit by blowing up oh, by blowing up uh, this section. So um, we have a prisoner now, which means we'll need a warden. And Fisher here seems to be very capable for the job. So we'll um, switch that section on for him. And, well, it looks like we've captured Lloyd, a human grenadier, which was a, which is a space pirate, apparently. And, uh, currently, we can do a few things to him. Give him some food, we can apparently execute him, we can beat them uh, viciously if needed to. Um, not really sure if these prisoners will do any work, um, for us. But, I mean, we can try to recruit him, so we'll leave him be inside here for now. And later on, I mean, we'll try to convert him. Let's actually give them all some prison lights, just uh, just because it looks like they'll need quite a lot of uh, loyalty. Yeah, they require a lot of loyalty to convert them to uh, to one of our colonies. Is, is, is people, so we'll do that. And just for fun, we're gonna put a gibbet cage in all of their rooms. So hopefully, what this will do is that we'll, we're just going to effectively store corpses and prisoners in the same area, and uh, that'll hopefully make it so that all of our prisoners are really just afraid. And our batteries are filling up really rather fast now, so that is good. Now, with these corpses, we do need some more corpses to uh, to use in those cages. So we're going to uh, collect all the weapons out here, but also all of the bodies in a bit. And what else is happening here? Some people are passing by, and now it is the uh, the sunny season, so that's good.
And we also need a battery room now, so I'm gonna build that next. And what that'll be is that uh, because we have so many like power arrays, we need to uh, we need to be able to store that power effectively. So I think all that'll be is just like a little block room over here where we can uh, keep a lot of the power going. Now, how is this Lloyd person doing? Um, currently very unhappy. Currently very unafraid. And what else? Ooh, escape pod has landed nearby. So that means that there is uh, some person on the map who has just crashed. And is, ah, I see Pitman over here. Currently crashed, currently incapacitated. So we'll be able to capture them like that. And we'll be able to uh, put them in one of the prisoner holding cells. There we go. So, battery room should be finished in a bit. All we need to do is just pluck a door there, pluck a cable here. Cable runs to the end of the room, and from there... I'm just gonna store a whole bunch of uh, batteries. And over here we'll just try to recruit this person like that, friendly chat. And as soon as these two people heal up, we should be able to um, get them to uh, to work for us, one way or another. Yeah, and there we go. Um, because we have so many solar panels, we can uh, fill those batteries up real fast, which is good. Alright, so, I mean, our fortress is running pretty smoothly now. It's mainly that the the, uh, the defense issues that I'm worried about now. Um, in the meantime, I mean, things are going pretty well. Uh, let's see. Things are happening, food is being placed down, Lloyd is starting to recover. And I see a lot of good things are happening. Let's actually open up communications, go to this... Uh, trader uh, panel over here and we can actually sell some prisoners here so we're actually going to sell off that prisoner that uh that space pirate prisoner simply because i don't think we'll be able to uh actually recruit them and i'll just remove them like that and that'll put some cash in our pocket um so that's that i mean i sh could get rid of all of these messages but i think what we're going to do next is uh we're actually going to use some of those blasting charges for their intended purpose and we should be able to make these uh do their actual job and hopefully mine with them yeah so we'll get somebody good to uh to go and build one of those yeah, because from what I've noticed, actual mining is a pain in the ass, and actually these blasting charges don't do their job. Um, in that case, we're just going to mine the ore over here. Oh, a combat supplier ship. That is actually going to be fairly interesting. Get Fisher to open up a uh, conversation with that, uh, that combat supplier. Let's see what they need. So I think these are actually the uh, the ammunition charges for those incendiary rifles. So I'll buy a few of these. And in the meantime, let's see what they have. They have uh, lean fields and all that stuff for us. I'll just buy a few more of these charges. And we'll sell off a few of our uh, handguns because we don't really need them anymore. And we'll keep uh, the rest of this stuff, but we'll just do that. And there we go, that'll beam down some weapons for us, our guys are currently mining, and things are going good. So, what should we do now? I mean, all the batteries are filled, so I mean, that's good. Uh, we probably do need to do some mining later on in, into like the actual uh, black area over here. So maybe we'll take a look at that in a little bit, but right now, I mean, my priority is still to get this uh, defense system up and running. Like, hopefully, once uh, once all of these defensive measures are set up, we'll be able to just sort of, like, gun down anything that comes remotely near our fort, and that'll be, uh, that'll be really good. Oh, that's right, we also need to uh, plug down a few more growing areas. 
And it looks like we uh, we managed to recruit Pitman, so that's good. That is another person on the team, and well, that'll help us out by quite a bit. So this person's probably going to be quite loyal, um, just going off of the fact that there are like bodies everywhere in these cages in our base. And these people actually have a really, really um, high mental break threshold, so that's good. And let's see. We also have to do research, but I mean, at this point, there really isn't much to research. Um, we are, for intents and purposes, done the research at this point. I mean, there's not really much we can do from uh, from this point on. I'm actually going to turn on this growing bulb simply because we really do need to get like a lot of food grown grown in the uh, in the short term. We'll do some exploratory mining here and here. Ooh, and an industrial trader ship has come by. That's also going to be pretty useful. Come into this panel. We'll buy out all the metal that these people sell. And we'll just sell off a few weapons to pay them for it. Like that. And trade that over. Buy a few uh, health kits? Nah. Alright, so, and then the dark uh, time starts again. So, let's see. Uh, we have those, like, Weapons still present, so I mean that's good. Um, have a few. We have a lot of like Lee fields. What else do we need to build here? Um, mining should come. Should be pretty much done now. I'm probably not gonna find anything there, so I think I'll actually cancel these. And my priority right now is that I, I want to make sure that this area is secured. So what I think I'll do here is that. Um, I want to like hinder raiders and I really want to use like a whole ton of mines to stop them. So I'm actually going to build like quite a large wall here. And that'll seal off that area and put that into another uh, little choke point. And um, oh, yeah, they're going to land over here now. So in that case, cancel this wall building. Or no, I think I'll let them continue building that wall. But these raider attacks are really going to be a problem because the game does get quite difficult at this point with these raiders all of our guys are armed with fairly decent weaponry but i mean like if we can if we can use mines to solve all our problems i'd, I'd much prefer that these guys should uh probably arm themselves pitman over here needs a gun so we'll get him to uh to go back there and arm himself our turret network is set up, but not powered on, so we will turn on the power for these guns. And that'll get the firing uh, batteries ready. Damn, we could use a few more, uh, few more platforms. That's really going to be expensive. Ah, you know what, let's do it. Let's put down two more... Um, Two more weapons, and we'll bunker these off too. And we will get the power conduit to run through here and connect to them. Oh no, don't build the guns first. Yeah, because then when they launch their attack, they might try to kill off the turret instead of uh, instead of anything else, so that might be a problem. So these guys are just going to run into this wave of turrets pretty much. 